Subscribe, subscribe to, to, to Bunny, Bunny 7, 7 UK. UK. Subscribe to Bunny 7 UK and and he's the best YouTuber that I know so far that's in Luton. Big so up your friend. Subscribe to him. Big up your friend. Yeah. Yeah. Big shout up your friend. Yeah, ZK, shout out all man. Yeah. Uh, I, I have no one else. Shout you have Instagram, out. you have Instagram. Yeah, shout uh, out. What's, uh, yeah. what's Instagram? I snap, m 2 trappymxz yeah, okay. I people KP, OBK, you know, OBF. My Snapchat, Snapchat, I don't remember my username. Uh, yeah. Anyway, big up to you, yeah? Right. Bye. Yes, my viewers and my subscriber. One more time, it is your boy Bunny again. Coming to have another little one to one with you. I am here again. But as I always said, my viewers, and you know that. If it is your first time tuning into this channel, thank you very much for stop by. Thank you for click on to this channel. But also, if you like the contents, just subscribe, thumbs up, share. So don't forget to like, share, comment, and subscribe to the channel. Also, hit that notification bell and you don't miss any video that goes up. As soon as it goes, bling, and you are in. Yeah. All right, let's get into this talk now. Now, my viewers, <coughs> things come to my mind when you see or you hear something. And I've saw something today where company from abroad is going into different country and set up business and then leave so basically what they do is robbing people yeah because for your company for leave from canada america or china or wherever you left from and go into another country and set up a business start to employ people and then all of a sudden, boom, the company gone bust, people disappear, and nothing. Alright? So, because that is something that happened to me, no one will highlight this again. I can't remember what here this happened to me. But this happened to me back in Jamaica a while back. I can't remember what year it happened. But I lose at the time. I lose 800 Jamaican dollar. And what happened? It was a company come from America. And they set up two business in Jamaica. They set up one in Crossroad, Kingston Crossroad, and they set up one in Portland. Now, my viewers, you watching me and you hearing me, and if you can remember this business, because I am 65 years old now, and when this happened, I probably in my 20s, probably about yeah, in my 20s when this happened. So it's a while back. Because as I said, I'm 65, and this happened when I was about 20, in my 20s. Anyway, what this company was offering... It was offering work for people to go abroad and work and ship. Yeah? So what this company do, they come to Jamaica from America and they set up one office in Port Tony and one in Crossroad. And what they was doing there was offering work for people to go and work and ship. So you come in with your passport and you sign up with them they, they, they register you, you pay them the money and what's supposed to happen when you get the job and start work then take back a percentage, percentage, percentage a percentage from your salary for the payments of what, they, what they're supposed to get so you pay a deposit 
So my deposit at the time was about 800 Jamaican dollar. So what would happen, I get the job as a dishwasher. So I supposed to be working on a ship as a dishwasher to wash dishes on the ship. Some people is different. There's, there was different, different job. Catering, apartment. There was different, different for working, um, like cleaning the beds and different, different work on the ship. But the, the one that me was up, me apply for was for the dishes, dishwashing. And my viewers, they take my money and when we're waiting to hear some from a result when we're gonna start work or when we're gonna go this we don't hear nothing from these people when we take a stock the office closed down in crossroad my viewers if any of you in jamaica remember when this company was set up in crossroad in plying people to go and work and ship and then disappear with the money. I mean, if anybody did get a job, I don't know if anybody at all did get any job from it. Then I get to understand at the same time that there was an office in Portland as well. And also that office closed down and the people then disappear. And the only reason why I'm bringing up this, this now is because I was watching something today. Listen, when I watch things now, it just brings back things to my mind, you know. Yeah, I was watching something today because this happened so long that I almost forget about it. So, just because I was watching something today on TV and I saw it where people, not people, company is going abroad and setting up business that people will get job through them company. So they are like agency for, for, for get job for people. And because I know I get robbed by it, I say, all right, I'm going to do a video and put out there to see if anybody remember of it. Are you ever find yourself in this situation where you apply for a job through a company like this and then disappear with your money and no come back to it? It's a hard feeling. It is a hard, hard, hard feelings. You know, it's just like you go, you, you go to the embassy to apply for a visa, and you have to pay your money to get the visa. But when you pay the money and go in, you get turned down. You don't get back your money. You lose the money. So if that is not true, my viewers, type that in the comment section. Let me know if when you apply for a visa, you have to pay. Because when you go through a certain part, you have to pay. And when you get to the part where you're supposed to have accept, you get turned down. Do you get back the money? Because as far as I understand, you don't get back your money. So, if anybody know about that, type it in the comment section. Let, let, let me share because somebody else might want to know as well. But I believe, my belief that when you apply for a job, um, um, a visa and you get turned down you lose the money that you pay yeah but I'm, I'll never come to really talk about the visa part it's about the job because I'm saying I would love I would really love to know if there's somebody who can remember when these people come to Crossroad and Portland set up office and was implying people to go and work and ship and people pay their money and they never get any work the people them close down office and them disappear if you watching and you from St. Thomas or Port sorry you from Kingston or Portland or anywhere in Jamaica because you probably live in Mantigo Bay and hear of them come there. Or probably it could be another office in Mantigo Bay as well because I, mean, I think they would have come and set up one in, in, in Kingston, one in Portland, and I set up one somewhere else. So, my viewers, I'm just a feelers right now. I'm just a feelers. I'm putting out this out there. So, if anybody 
remember this or know about this let me know please let me know these are feelers I would surprise if people don't start typing straight away from this go because I know a lot of people get robbed from this but I would love to know if anybody did get back their money or if anybody did get a job so if you did apply and you get back your money or you did apply and you never get back your money or you never know about it just type in the comment if you're watching type in the comment let me know if it's just me alone know about this you know so I wanna said if you watch me so far on this video don't forget like don't forget share don't forget comments and subscribe to the channel and also hit that notification bell that you don't watch miss any video that goes up and believe me tell a friend to tell a friend to go and check out bunny 7 uk yes tell a friend to tell a friend go and check out bunny 7 uk because my intention is to help some people may have some really and truly great plan great great plan to help some people yes there's some great plan in the back of my head and i'm telling you people are gonna be benefit from this channel yes people are gonna be benefit from this channel and remember let me say that and it's not gonna be long so while you watch the video watch the advert because is the advert gonna bring in the revenue for help whoever get help from this channel if you watch my video that I put up I've said to you before I said one of my plan is every month I want to take somebody to the supermarket in the UK here and shop for them but how is this gonna work how it gonna work you contact me I and somebody else will come not me alone me and somebody else will come to your house we will interview you see what your situation is like and if we feel like yes this person in tiger to get some help i will take you to the supermarket i will walk you around the supermarket i will shop with you you pick up what you want the first hundred pound and your shopping bill i will pay it if your shopping bill comes for less than a hundred pound the rest of the money will come into your hand so if you think all right i don't have an electric in my house but i need some shopping yes you can pick up 50 pound with a shopping and you get 50 pound in your hand if you feel like say I want 20 pounds with a shopping and I want 80 pounds. You will get it. Because I don't know your situation. You must know. It could be your rent. You want some help to pay your rent. But that first 100 pounds every month, one person every month. If the channel grow to a stage where I can do two people a month, then that will happen. But listen, that is coming soon. So, people, start contact me. Put in your request. Because when we reach to that stage, I will start ring the people who send in that request. Yeah, I will start sending, ringing those people and say, all right. We can make an appointment to come and see you. We can make an appointment to come in and see you. 
Somebody did text me one time when I just started the channel and I started to make this announcement and said, my sister want to do this. But they never get back in touch with me. But at that stage, I was going to use my own money to do that. My own personal money I was going to use to do that. But it reached a stage now where I made up my mind. I said, I'm going to do that through funds from YouTube or if anybody donates something to me. Like I went to a shop one time and I do a video for somebody in a shop. And when I finish, the shopkeeper offer me some something. But I'd never take it because I wasn't there for that purpose. But if I do a video for somebody, like an advert, advert for somebody, or I do a video for somebody, publish, publish something or whatever it is, and then gave me something, those will go to her as that. But as I said, this is not a charity. This is not a charity. This is a personal channel between me. But my aim is to help people through this channel. I'm not begging for help people. Whatever come to me easily through God, because he's a God man, whatever God bless me with, I will then use it to bless somebody else. So, I don't know who is going to be the first person, but as I said, in most of my video, in the comment section, there's a telephone number in there, a WhatsApp number. WhatsApp me. Don't even call. WhatsApp me. And then I will get back to you. And then we talk. So, Take this time, think about what I'm saying, think about what I have to do because you never know when it's going to happen. So you might be the first person. Yeah? So at this time, I'm going to say peace in and peace out. God bless you, God keep you, God guide you, and God protect you. So at this time, I'm about to go into my prayer. It's prayer time now. So I'm going to go into prayer. So... I will pray for you as I probably pray for the world and the people, you know. So, I want to say a big God bless to all of these people that suffering through this earthquake, earthquake um, thing, you know. To those people who lost them loved one, you know, my prayer is there for you, you know. For those who are in hospital, my prayer goes out for you the same way, you know. You know, when this thing happened, my, my heart moved, man, but you know. You know all in my prayer. You know all in my prayer, man. God bless you. God bless you. Take care. I'm out. I'm out. Peace and love. You see them, my viewers. As I said, look at the sun. I'm trying to see. It's going down more. It soon disappear completely. You can't see it. Soon disappear completely. You can't see it. So this up here, you can't see it.